So we'll go straight to the uh, the final. We have uh, two men and two women in the bare bow competition. These are the top two ranked um, over the whole of the national tour, and this is the, uh, the the gold medal, effectively for the the season, really, isn't it? It is. Yes. Yeah. So. Um, the Bearbows were introduced this year so they could compete at our national tour. They had uh, 12 spots available for them uh, per, uh, per national tour stage. And um, overall, um, they've been ranked and um, it's the top two out of everyone that gets to come here. So it's a lot harder, you know, they've only got a couple of spots to fight for. So these gents and ladies have done really well to get here today. And uh, in the men's competition, it is Ralph Barwise against uh, Wilco Van Cleef Bolton. So unlike the uh, compound, which will happen uh, later, uh, this is in a, uh, a set format, like the recurve yesterday. So the archers all shoot uh, three arrows each per end, and the winner of each end will earn two set points. Um, if they draw, it's one set point each, and the first to six is the winner. So we've got target number one with uh, Ralph Barwise shooting first. So they're shooting over uh, 50 meters. So just to start there, we've got a low eight, nice and central, so wind's definitely calmed down from yesterday. <laughs> Just missed it. I mean, as we can see, oh, got a slight error there with the clicker. Only got six seconds left to see if he can yeah, get this arrow yeah. off. Of course, if he gets timed out, yeah. he's going to get timed out. Yeah, very unfortunate. But the good thing about the set system that we have here that there is a there is a slight advantage to what those compounds have to deal with is that Die. if something such as this happens and you do get a miss, once that set's done, it's done, and you can move on and refocus. Well, if you watched yesterday's uh, Patrick Houston in, yes. <laughs> in the first match, he d opted not to uh, shoot one of his arrows. He, he had to shoot a ten in order to uh, to. Uh, to draw the the set, mm -hmm. but uh, decided not to shoot it, uh, and still went on to win the match and win the uh, the championship. So, yeah. you know. I mean, these these miscalculations. If we're in the moment, there's a nerves involved, and sometimes you know you can forget or just miscalculate in your head. And he did say in his interview afterwards, that's just what happened, and he made a slight mistake. But um, luckily, he's got experience on his side, so he, that didn't get to him at all, and he was able to just move on and then continue and. And he was able to win. So in that scenario, he did really well to keep his cool. <laughs> yeah, he was laughing about it later. <laughs> It'll just be another thing that goes down on his kind of legendary status. Yes, definitely, yeah. So, yes, yeah, so a little bit of a problem there for uh, Ralph Barwise. Just uh, not able to, uh, to reload quickly enough there. It I mean, just goes to show that this, that this is the issue, isn't it, with uh, uh, with with Bearbo? It is. I mean, as, as well, these guys, you know, except for the national, the national tour is probably the first time that they've been able to um, compete at a, a higher level doing alternate shooting. So the first um, national tour stage that we had at Lillishall, um we had it set up as a final stage. So for some of these Bearbos, I was talking to them afterwards, this is the first time they've ever shot alternate shooting. Um, so, except for that round, unless they were, unless of course they didn't um, attend that one event, this might be the first time they've ever shot on a stage. So it's a lot of pressure, and it's a brand new set of skills, especially shooting in uh, 20 seconds as well, because usually we're so used to getting our um, four or sometimes three minutes, depending on the competition and new world archery rules. Um, so we're so used to being able to do that. But in this scenario, you know, every every shot really does count. Five, Five for bar wise. So looking down the arrow there to aim, and uh, gets the first ten. Really lovely shot right there. Nine. Nine. So 
Bankley Bolton one point ahead. I mean, these gents are really equally matched. Throughout all the stages this year, you've seen these two within the top four nearly yeah. every single event. And a good nine there from Barwise to keep the pressure on. Just out again. Just out, but that Eight. will... Eight. If it is a nine, it'll win him the set. Um, but uh, it's going to be at least a draw. Yeah, the judges will take a closer look at that one and see if we're... Um, I think the magnifying glass might well yes. come out for that one. <laughs> yeah, so we can't uh, judge that. So it's, the score will either be 3-1 or 4-0. Oh, oh, oh. So it was the second arrow from uh, Van Cleef Bolton. This is the one that they're looking at. What do you think? I think it's out. It's really difficult to see from here, and um, we've not got the uh, light shining on it so much. Oh, no, I think it might be up. I think he might have scored it a nine. He has as he well. Has. So 4 0, the score. It's a big call, that. And it just goes to show that millimetres can make a difference in this sport. It, it really it's, can. It's not even, it's, it's like it's less than yes. of a millimetre. <laughs> And it really does make the difference, because as we can see here, Wilco's now got that lead, and Ralph is really going to have to keep fighting if he wants to stay in the game. Well, you can come back. Of course, yeah, there is every possibility here. Um, and, I mean, we've seen it, like just like yesterday, we've seen people come from trailing and overtake and then end up winning, so it is more than possible, and these artists are definitely capable of that. Wow. So Barwise needs a good start here in this third set. Not bad. Oh. Lovely shot there. Oh no. Got the same issue again. Now look at the clock. Seven seconds on the clock. Can be done. He just needs to really relax here and try not to uh, Three, overthink it too two. much. No, time out no. again. Same problem so as in the first set. And yeah. that is that, unfortunately. This, this could be it now. I mean, well, <laughs> no, with, it could be. It well, is. with how we're Wilco shooting, I don't think. Um, I mean, we always say in Archie, you know, every arrow counts and yeah. it's not over until the last arrow is shot. But in a scenario like this, it you is. know, 4 0 down. Yeah. <laughs> That's a shame. It's a shame for, mm. uh, for Ralph uh, because, you know, he's shooting well. He was shooting well. Just those two errors. I with, think uh, quite possibly that first, you know, that first end really, I think it got to him. I think he thought about it a bit too much, um, which it's easy done. It's easy to get rattled by that. And like we've said before, these archers, you know, they've they've not had the opportunity to shoot on final stages before. So there's that extra added bit of nerve knowing that, you know, there's people at home watching, there's people in the stands watching, and it's a, it's a whole it's a whole different uh, kettle of fish here. But you've got to say, uh, Wilco Van Cleef Bolton finishing there with a 27. That's a good score. That is a brilliant score. And, you know, as we've seen, it's Bearbo arguably is a lot trickier in some aspects because of the fact that, you know, we've got no sight. We have no stabilisation. Um, so they're a lot more open to the elements there. Mm -hmm. um, and they've done incredibly well to get this far. And he is now the first uh, national tri champion for Bearbo, which is an incredible achievement. Excellent. So, Wilco Van Cleef Bolton, who has been shooting for 27 years from Dagenham, originally from the Netherlands, he is the tour winner.